Hello campers, my name is Victoria Wells and I'm from Sunrise Staten Island. Today we're going to be making CD mandalas. These are meant for healing and balance as to why you can see the balance in patterns and colors throughout the disc. What you're going to need in order to make these are puffy paints. I'm going to be using two, gold and orange. You can use whatever colors you have or whatever you would like as well. Of course you're going to be needing a CD disc. And if you don't happen to have a disc, you can always cut out a circular piece of paper. We are also going to be using a marker to help guide us in any upcoming designs. Um, some people are better at freehanding their designs, but because this is such a, a pattern type of project, um, it's really good to have markers at least guide you within the spaces that you want to make the repeating patterns. Alright, so if you're interested in making these seating mandalas with me, stick around. We've got more to come. All right, so as you see, we have all of the supplies that we need. I have a rock here once again, as you will see in many of my videos when I'm outside. I like to do my art on paper to make sure it does not fly away. So the rock helps in case there's any wind that nothing disappears in the middle of my art project. Um, when I'm using my marker here, I'm breaking it down into different sections. In a mandala, there is supposed to be balance. So with balance comes patterns most often. So I split it into four sections, as you see here. Um, but I want to add more to this, so I'm going to add four more sections, but to help know the difference, I'm making longer lines and shorter lines so they can guide me when I'm making my patterns. Um, I always make sure to put my caps back on to my markers, my paints, anything that requires a cap, because I do not want things to dry out in the process. So we are shaking the bottle because when we shake the bottle, we are moving whatever air is in there to um, the top of the bottle. This way, when we're squeezing out, there are no explosions. As you can see, I didn't shake enough, so I had a bit of an explosion, but that is all right. Easy thing to fix. You kind of just wipe the tip of the puffy paint, um, the bottle, you just kind of blend it together and it, it'll make it look nice. As you see, I have another beautiful explosion. So I'm shaking and I'm shaking so I can try to clean this up. There's an example of me using the tip of the bottle to smooth it out. So what I did here was I made a bunch of different circles in a line and what I did to make sure that they got bigger over time was I held the bottle a little bit longer each movement. So I would hold it down for the slightest second for the small circle and then a little bit longer each time that I went to my next circle and this helped it get a lot larger. I'm going to do the same thing with the size with the circles and the gold. Um, stick around, we're going to fast forward and play some music while you see me go through with more of this design. So as you can see, I have created these beautiful little raindrop designs. Uh, we are going to add that as well in orange. I want to make sure that I have a pattern, so I did every other space that I had for my raindrops. And now we're going to do the same thing, but with the orange, and we're going to fill them in and just kind of decorate a little bit more, always making sure that we keep this as balanced as possible with the same pattern and incorporating the colors so they kind of become friends together. And if you keep sticking around, all of that is going to make a lot more sense. As you can see, we can create so many amazing designs. We can use rough edges, we can use smooth edges, and make sure when you complete your mandalas that you share it with us. We would love to see what you've created. We want to inspire you as much as you inspire us.